Welcome to another episode of the Excel After Devlog. In this episode, I'll show you how to do a 2D outline shader. Not the best, but the most general way that will work with already existing assets. I have a scene here where whenever I approach this flower, uh, it adds an outline tag to this flower object. And let's take a look at how to do it using graph shaders. So I start off with the same rendering pipeline I finished in last episode. And this time I'll add a new shader. And because I'll be using the animated um, sprite for this, I'll start with the animated sprite as a template. And as I said, I'll be, I'll be using the outline tag for it. As you can see, I've added a preview texture that I can load to be able to see the preview in my screen here. So let's load some, something. So as you can see, I have this sprite sheet with an animation. So for the time being, I'll set the sprite con correctly to be able to see the proper display here. So five by four. Okay, and in my preview, I already see land here. Okay, so what I'll use here is rather than taking the color of this texture, instead I'll use the new node here which is called border detection i provide the texture the uv and uh, the thing that i have to provide also is the pixel size and to cal calculate the pixel size i have to take the sprite size which is going to be number of pixels of the size and divide well divide one one divided by the sprite size will give me a size of a pixel. However, because this is also animated and there is multiple sprites in the sprite sheet, I have to also divide by the number of, number of sprites on this sheet. So for that, I have here the property already that I used before, which is sprite count. And I divide, divide this result of the previous one, previous division by this sprite count. This gives me the result of pixel size in the UV space. So I'll group these. Pixel size in UV. Okay, now I provide this pixel size here, size to the, the border detection node. I also have specified the outline width. Let me add, add a new property here, float. It's going to be the default on set three. I'll pass it here. And also, I have to provide the alpha edge, and alpha edge basically is the definition of what is considered transparent, what is considered, um, what values are, of alpha are considered opaque. I have to provide here a value, and I'll provide a value of 0, 0, 1, so slightly above 0. So anything that has alpha this or larger is going to be considered opaque. Now, if I, for example, connect the left side to the alpha channel, I see that the outline is drawn on the left side of all the pixels of the, the sprite here. I collect the right one, the right side up and down the same way. So now, because this border detection is a value of zero, zero or one on these values, I can just add them. And that way, if any of them is positive that there's a border on that side, I'll get a value that I can plug into alpha and get a proper outline. Oh, I missed the down one. Okay, so now I have a down outline here. In my preview, I can modify the size of it, make it smaller, larger, whatever I want. Let's go with three. And let's take a look if it works in our test in here. Yeah, it's working. So oh, this is not the very most efficient way because this is basically doing five lookups on the texture. For the middle set, middle pixel, the left, right, up, and down. Uh, in next episode, I hope I'll find time to show a better way to do it, but it requires 
to prepare the, the textures a bit more than just taking any texture off the internet. Okay, I hope you find this useful. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. And also, if you'd like to see some kind of effects done, I'll just please post them in the comments and I'll look at what, what, what people have, what kind of ideas, what kind of questions people have, and I probably will make a video about them. Thanks for watching. Bye.